All right, in this video, we're going to talk about finding a unit vector. And the unit, the unit vector for a vector v, all we do is we take our vector v and we divide it by its magnitude or its length. And what a unit vector is, it's simply a vector that points in the same direction as the original vector, but uh, we're going to kind of uh, alter its magnitude or length so that it has a magnitude or length of 1. So nothing too terrible here. Let's, uh, we've got three examples here. Let's find uh, the components of a unit vector in the direction of each of these given vectors. So just a unit vector here for, for each one. Well, so we've got the vector uh, 3 comma 4 with components 3 comma 4. Let's find its magnitude. Uh, you know, maybe we'll call this again vector v. So the magnitude of vector v, again, we just take each component and we square it. We add them together and square root it. So 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. That's going to give us the square root of 25, which is simply going to give us 5 when we take the square root of it. So really, um, it says the unit vector would be this vector uh, 3 with components 3, 4, but now we're dividing by 5. And remember, all that happens here, you can really think we're multiplying by a scalar, which we are. We're just multiplying by 1 fifth. So we'll have 1 fifth. Uh, being multiplied by the vector with components 3 comma 4 and recall uh, if you have a, a, a real number out front all we do is just multiply it in so we'll get 3 fifths and 4 fifths and that'll give us our unit vector uh, again it's going to be pointing off in the exact same direction as the original again but now it simply is going to have a length of 1